Hello everybody! In this Python tutorial we're going to go over several different ways to combine dictionaries. So what we'll do is we'll type out the code for each example and then we'll go over it. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is import the collections module and the iter tools module. We've gone ahead and created our dictionaries here that we're going to use in our examples and now let's go ahead to our first example. Okay, so the first thing we did here is we created a copy of dictionary one here, and we assigned that to the update dictionaries variable here. Then we use that same variable, and then we use a dot to access the update function. And if you're using the spider IDE and you want more information about a function, for example, you can just click on it and hit command I. And over here you can see some details about the update function. Okay, so we use the update function, and inside the round brackets for the update, we put our dictionary2, which is this dictionary. Then finally, we use a print to display the outcome. So let's go ahead and select our code here, print it to the console, and you can see the output here. We have dictionary1 and dictionary2 combined. Let's move on to our second example. Okay, so the first thing we did here is we created an empty dictionary, and this is going to hold all of the combined dictionaries. Here we use a for loop, and we create a list here with dictionaries 1, 2, and 3 with this data. Then here we have accessed our empty dictionary that we created up here. And again, we use our update function, and inside the update function round brackets, we put our iterator i here. Then finally, we use a print to display the outcome. So let's go ahead and select all of our code and run it. And you can see over here in the console, we have dictionaries 1, 2, and 3 all combined. Okay, moving on to our third example. Okay, so the first thing we do here is we use our dict function, and inside the dict function round brackets, we're going to put all of our dictionaries. However, for each dictionary, we have dictionary 1, 2, and 3. We want to put those inside of a list, and also for each dictionary, we want to use a dot and use the items function, okay? Okay, so to do a quick recap on that, we want to use each dictionary, use a dot to access the items function, here, here, and here, and then put each of those three inside of a list, and then put all of that inside of a dictionary here. And then to join them all together, we just put plus signs between the dictionaries, okay? And then we just assign that to our variable and put that inside of a print to display the outcome. Let's select it and run it. And you can see over here in the console, we get dictionaries one, two, and three all together inside one dictionary. Okay, moving on. Okay, so in this example, we use a type of unpacking. And to do that, we just use the double stars in front of each dictionary name. So you can put each dictionary inside of the curly brackets to allow all the dictionaries to be combined and then make sure you put the double stars in front of each dictionary name. Now this option I believe started in Python 3.5, so you have to be using 3.5 or greater. And if you want to find out more information about this type of unpacking, you can check out the PEP 448 for more information. Okay? So here we went ahead and we put our all dictionaries variable inside of a print to display the outcome. So let's select our code and run it. And you can see over here in the console, we have all of the dictionaries put together inside of one dictionary. Next up, let's move on to our chain example. Okay, so in this example, what we did is we used our dict function 
and inside the dict function round brackets, which will help us to display our output in dictionary form, we use the iter tools module and then a dot to access the chain function. So here's additional information about the chain function. And then inside the chain function round brackets, we put each of our three dictionaries. And again, for each of those, we use the items function. So in short, you can think of this example that uses the chain as a way to help us chain all of these dictionaries together. Let's go ahead and display the output. And you can see over here in the console, we have all of our dictionaries chained together inside of one dictionary. Okay, let's move on to our last example. Okay, so what we did here is somewhat similar to what we did in our previous example. Again, we start out with the dictionary function. Here we have some information on that. Then inside the round brackets, we use the collections module. We use a dot to access the chain map. And here is some information about the chain map function. And then inside the chain map function, round brackets, we just put our dictionaries one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and display our output. And we can see over here, we have all of our dictionaries combined. Okay, so that's all we have for this tutorial on how to combine dictionaries. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.